some of the hits that we take, you will, you won't even want to take them in your career. These are what the the fans want to see in a video game, not in real life. They want to see that in the game though, because it's the action pack. You can control that, and that's what we provide. For a quarter century, Madden football has been setting the benchmark for NFL realism in a video game. I feel like being a part of Madden, we're just as much a part of that shield, the NFL shield, as the teams. In fact, we're kind of known as the 33rd NFL franchise. Behind the game's versimilitude is an alchemy of technology, creativity, and very literal sweat. We over here slaving away for this game, baby. <laughs> but you gotta love it though, you know? Every run and hit in the video game, which gets a fresh update every August, starts with motion capture athletes like Omar Nazel. I play ball for USC. And Kenny Bell. I've been playing football since Pop Warner, high school, during college, college, and now. They suit up for very realistic virtual football at the Capture Lab in Vancouver, Canada. Each man is decked out with 65 reflective markers. If it ain't no markers, it ain't no, it ain't no game. The game is built move by move under the bright red light of dozens of cameras around the lab. But when the red light from the camera shine onto the marker, it bounces back into the camera and it can capture its position in 3D space. Shot 664, rolling on one. So after we've recorded a shot, it shows up in our database. The shot has 128 cameras. They cross-reference each other and ultimately become a series of points. Each point is then connected into a skeleton. Those skeletons become the framework for game animators like Jason Danahy, who rely on the player's knowledge of football to keep the game fresh year after year. An animator can convey weight and speed and you know handle that kind of stuff, but they don't have necessarily a football mind like these guys do, and that, that's a huge help for us. A typical day of motion capture might run through 200 different actions, from blocks and tackles to what game designers call fidgets. That's basically just what guys are doing between plays before the ball is snapped. So, you know, you might see a defensive lineman reset his foot or a guy shake his hands or look at his gloves. What is he doing? Things that you see on Sunday that need to be portrayed in a video game to make you feel like you're actually part of the game. I've got something for you over there. Madden has an exclusive license from the NFL. The designers and athletes try to make the video game look and feel as much like real football as possible. But today, the influence goes both ways. I think a lot of things that we've done have crossed over into, into the game and really into public lexicon. The cable cam that they use on the television broadcast, that's basically our, our camera in Madden to show from the behind view. That's how they are now you know, innovating to show the game of football. That might even extend to football celebration dances. The best part of the job right here is doing stuff that really don't even matter. <laughs> of course, every movement does matter, and it could be in the next version of Madden NFL. That's the, uh, the hill, clock, hill clack phenomenon. So all you kids, you start celebrating doing hill clacks, I know where you got it from. And, and the pros, y'all can take it too, it's cool. I love y'all too, baby.